Today we're going to delve a little bit deeper into the installation of my inverter and automatic transfer switch. This is the third in a series of videos. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll find links to the other two videos. An inverter is an electronic device that converts DC power, i.e. your battery, into AC power, something that you would find in a normal household outlet. The two main components for this install are my Renogy 3000 watt inverter and my Progressive Dynamics 5100 series 30 amp automatic transfer switch. This is the wiring diagram for my complete upgrade. Today we'll only be focusing on the inverter and automatic transfer switch. Here you can see all of the components and the wiring for that circuit. The components are as follows. The battery battery disconnect switch, the automatic transfer switch, the inverter, the bus bars and fuse holder, and the battery monitor shunt. I'll start by breaking down the positive side of the DC circuit. First, we have a 300 amp fuse on the terminal of the battery, which then goes into the input of the battery disconnect. From the output of the battery disconnect, to the positive bus bar. From there through a 250 amp fuse, out of that 250 amp fuse, and into the positive side of the inverter. I should note that that 250 amp fuse will be upgraded after I upgrade my battery bank. On the negative side of the DC circuit, we start at the negative terminal of the battery, which goes into the battery monitor shunt out of the battery monitor shunt to the negative bus bar, out of the negative bus bar, and we connect to the negative side of the inverter. You'll also notice that the negative bus bar and the frame of the inverter are tied to frame ground. The battery monitor is connected to the shunt via this circuit. This is the wiring diagram for the AC side of the circuit. On the back of the Renogy 3000 watt inverter is a hardwired AC connection, which is what I used. There's a port to plug in the remote. And the power switch has the option to set to remote so that you can turn it on and off using the remote. The wiring from the inverter to the automatic transfer switch looks something like this. The neutral wire coming from the inverter would connect to this terminal and the hot from the inverter connect to this terminal, both labeled power cord. This is what the two terminals look like on the switch itself. The output from the automatic transfer switch back to the panel will look something like this. The neutral will connect here and the hot wire will connect here. And again, this is the two terminals on the switch itself. All the ground wires will connect to this bus bar. And that's what it looks like on the switch. So to give you a better idea on my setup, these are the components. That is my bus bars and fuse holder. That is where the battery monitor shunt is located. That is the battery disconnect switch. That is my automatic transfer switch. And of course, that is my inverter. Inside the trailer, you can see my battery monitor and the remote switch location for the inverter. As I mentioned earlier, I go into much greater detail about the uh, inverter prep circuit and the automatic transfer switch in previous videos. If you would subscribe to my channel, you'll have access to these links. In future videos, I'll talk about my converter upgrade, my DC to DC charger, changes that I made to the solar controller, 
and I'll also go into wiring sizes and fuses that I selected for this project. Again, thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it.